sahana bhavatu sahana punaktu saha viryam karva vahe tejasvina vaditam astu mahavit vishavahaihi om shanti 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 hari om shri guru pyo namaha hari om and we can say this prayer all together <coughs> ಶಂವರುಣ ಶೋತ್ವರ್ಯಮ ಶ್ರೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿ ಶೋ ವಿಷ್ಣುರುರುಕ್ರಮ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವಾಯೋ ತಮೇವ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ತಮೇವ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ವದಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಋತ ವದಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸತ್ಯ ವದಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ತನ್ಮಾವತು ತತ್ವಕ್ತಾರಂ ಅವತು ಅವತು ಮಾ ಅವತು ವಕ್ತಾರಂ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫಿನಿಶ್ ಫಿನಿಶ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ವಾಸ್ ಗೋಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ where does the happiness come from in in this world and this is a very very important uh what should i say concept to learn because if we don't think about the way they are saying we always have a wrong idea about where happiness is we always think it's in the world me ko ye mil jayega to main itna khush ho jaungi and that doesn't mean material objects only yeah it means emotional thing relationships everything is included in that that you know when when my desire if somebody behaves the way i like then i feel like i feel very happy but what they are trying to tell you that's not the source of happiness the source of happiness is always consciousness but your mental condition is quiet that's why that it comes up jaise ki koi surya ki roshni hai usse you know i get very happy i see everything and all kisi ne cloud se dhak diya usko ಎಂಡ್ ಮೇ ಕೊಳ್ಗ ವೋ ಸೂರಜ್ ಚಲ ಕಿಸಿ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಹಟಾಯ ತೋ ವೋ ರೋಶನಿ ವಾಪಸ್ ಆ ಗೈ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವರ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ your mind gets edgy mujhe chahiye yeah because keep this scheme banni shuru ho jati hai main kaise isko paau so then constant agitation is like cloud forming in your mind and happiness come come ho rahi hai tabhi hum log ko raaton ki neend ud jayegi <laughs> blood pressure higher ho jayega <laughs> sab kuch hona shuru ho jayega fir jab wo cheez milti hai na to hum log khush ho jate hain so hum log ko lagta hai ki vastu mein hai khushi ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಹಮ್ ಲೋಕ ಖುಷಿ ಹೋಯ ಎಜುಟೇಷನ್ ಚಲ ಗ್ಯಾ ಟೆಂಪ್ರರಲಿ ನೋ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಫುಲ್ಫಿಲ್ ಹೋ ಗೈ ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಕಿತ್ನಿ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಯೇ ಆಪ್ ಬತಾವಿ ನ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ ಹೈ ಸೋ ಆಪ್ ದೇಖೋ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ ಆ ರಹೇ ಹೈ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ ಆ ರಹೇ ಹೈ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಥೋಡಿ ಸಿ ದಿಖಾಯ ದೇ ಖುಷಿ ಆ ಗೈ ಫಿರ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ ಆ ರಹೇ ಹೈ ಆಪ್ ಚೌಕಿ ಸಿ ಜರುರತ್ ಹೈ <laughs> yeah that's so right. that's what and they're going to prove it by scientific things yes. you know not just say ki by you know blind faith yeah. okay now bhagwan they are saying that no they're going to prove to you yes. that it is the happiness is not in the objects that's what they're going to do right now so kon kon padhna chahta hai yahan par aap log padhenge ya sure i can read. yeah try you never you never do so try um, uh, are we at uh, on page 150 yeah my page number is different but we okay. were at vedanta does not deny okay. right do that's it yeah vedanta does not deny the fact that it is our finite world they are joys the flickering joys of tranquilizing men with their flashy charms are not a satisfying fulfillment of those who are really hungry to live fully in their dissatisfactions the rishi were goaded and encouraged to make exhaustive inquiries into the structure and composition of sensuous happiness so all they are saying in this uh, i mean swami ji saying in this paragraph is that vedanta is not telling you that 
hey, if you if you quote worldly things, you will not get joy. All it's saying that joy is coming from happiness. I mean, your uh, basic nature only. It's coming from you only. That's all it's saying. But what he's trying to say that the people who start inquiring, hey, real happiness kya hai? They realize ki ye world mein na fleeting happiness is. So they want to know ki because even Bhagavad Gita says. Krishna Bhagavan told Arjuna that, you know, once you know this, tumhare sa- <coughs> tum sare dukh dur ho jayenge tumhare. Ye nahi ki dukh aayenge nahi tumhare paas. Ye nahi bola ki sab kuch achcha ho jayega. <laughs> ye bhi nahi promise kiya ki tu, yo, tu jeetega. Bola jaake tu fight kar. Ho sakta hai tu mar bhi jaya isme. Ho sakta hai tu lose ho jaya. But that's not the point. But all he said that you, tum dukh se dukhi nahi ho gaye. That's what he's trying to tell you. So these are the people who actually wanted to inquire because they felt dissatisfaction with the world. I, I remember there was one time, you know, when Swami came and they came in somebody's house and the wife was more connected to this knowledge and the husband was not. Congress, hmm? always the fact. <laughs> I don't know about that. In this case, that would happen. So husband was better there. After a while, the husband was like doubting. जो भी स्वामी बोल रहा था आर्ग्यू कर रहा था तो वो स्वामी बोला यू डोंट टू लिसन टू मी इफ यू थिंक दैट यू आर वेरी हैप्पी इन योर वर्ल्ड एंड गो इट योर खाना पीना स्टे देयर व्हाई यू आर कमिंग यू नो सो वी ओनली वांट टू फाइंड आउट इफ वी फील द सेटिसफैक्शन विद द वर्ल्ड देन वी विल से दैट आई वांट टू नो समथिंग मोर सो दैट्स हाउ दिस होल इंक्वायरी स्टार्टेड विद देम दैट्स व्हाट ही इज सेइंग नो डाउट देयर इज जॉय व्हेन अ डिजायर is fulfilled but it is enjoyable only by the one who attains the desire the joy that an objective pro- object provides is it is found directly proportional to the intensity of desire with which the individual has struggled for it we also find that a given object that gives joy to one can itself dole out a measure of unhappiness to another the same given cup of coffee if it is gives 80 units of happiness to a south indian it gives perhaps an equal amount of unhappiness to a pathan 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 who is not familiar with the embittered madrasi coffee a young woman after days of struggling at last fulfills her deep desires for a blue mysore sari it provides her with a great satisfaction while the same sari spells disastrous sorrow and a creeping sense of disgust in some of her dear friends so two things he said over here <clears throat> firstly he said that the the scientific fact is that the joy in an object uh, is found sorry um what is it uh yeah the first line there is a joy when the desire is fulfilled but that joy enjoyable only by the one who entertains the desire ki koi cheez mein meri desire hai ki mujhe ye mil jaye wohi to wo basically apne mind mein happiness hoti hai bahar nahi hai kahin ha aur same object will not give happiness to two different people identical and then he gave the example of coffee and when we come to this country you look kali coffee peete hai but shuru mein lagta hai ki and most of the people told that when they start drinking fir unko bhi addiction ho jata hai <laughs> beginning mein bahut kadbi lagti hai ya koi kabhi sharab nahi peeta usko tum beer do first time to bolega oh, it's so bad yeah. you know what why do people drink this but then he gets addicted whatever you know so it depends on your own desire so that's na- point number 1 and um secondly agar suppose same cheese agar This is how you have to look at it. अगर happiness object में होती तो सभी को मिलती ना सेम इसका मतलब नहीं है उसमें इट्स लाइक इफ यू गिव स्वीट वेदर यू गिव इट टू ए बी सी और एवरीबडी विल एक्सपीरियंस ए स्वीटनेस अगर तुमने सेम चीज दी और किसी को खारी लग रही है और किसी को तो दैट मीन्स वो दैट क्वालिटी इज नॉट देयर इन दैट ऑब्जेक्ट सो दैट्स द फर्स्ट साइंटिफिक फैक्ट इज डेट मीन वी नेवर थिंक अबाउट इट दैट You know, I actually experienced this What? only a few, a couple of weeks ago. Actually, we had gone out of um, San Diego, and we were on our way to Utah. And on, we stopped over in Las Vegas. And my husband really wanted to see this huge spear that they've got now. 
and the sphere is basically oh yeah like, i've heard about that yeah, sphere yeah and it's like really so, mega whatever so he really wanted to go and we went in there and we wanted to see the show also and so you know got the tickets and now we're up there and after we were done i was not into it i really didn't want any <laughs> part of this thing but you know okay you want to see it let's go we went and we did the thing so we meet our kids a day later and they say well how was it and he's glorifying <laughs> everything and i'm just sitting there quietly so one of them says to me what about you what did you think about it and i said it was terrible <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it's like yeah. two people saw the exact same thing. One thought it was this, you know, great, wonderful thing. And the other thought, what a waste of time. I know, it's, it's so <laughs> true. I think I still remember we had gone to um, Bhuvaneshwar and he had a meeting and, and there's Konark temple over there, right? Uh -huh. So the, I said, oh, I want to see this. And there was one fe young fellow standing saying, you want to go and see that broken wheel? What is there in it? You know, he discouraged me. Yeah. And the other professor comes and I said, you know, I was thinking I'm going to Konark and he's saying his broken wheel. I said, my God, that's the only thing over here. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't see it, you didn't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, completely different. Different, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. I you you <laughs> identify with this. So, yeah. Basically saying that actually, dono hi galat hai because now dono hi nahi usme. Because the happiness is not in it. That's all he's going to say. Now he's going to explain. If happiness were in the objects, the coffee or the sari should, be, should have given the same happiness to all of us. But it seems that the same object provides different units of happiness to different individuals, and the same object graces the same individuals with different textures of joy at different places and time. On the whole, we can say that the joy is not the object, but the object is only an occasion when the required mental condition is gained by the individual which provides him with sense of joy that he experiences. Okay, so, so a couple of things are there that he's telling you that the same object can provide different happiness at different times also. You know, when you are very hungry, if you eat your favorite food, you will have a lot of fun. If you are very hungry and you have your favorite food, you are not going to see. That means it's not in the object. And then, that, now the last line is most important. That what happens is that that object creates mental condition in the individual. That provides him that sense of happiness. And what is that mental condition he is going to... So it is everything to do with mind. If, the, if your mind is peaceful and quiet, you are happy. Mind is agitated, you are miserable. That's what the equation is. The seers of Vedanta explain this exhaustively. Their convincing arguments have in them a compelling force of persuasion and, are, and we are compelled to accept them. A desire is a torturous mental state wherein we fail to take our minds off a given thought disturbance. It demands an immediate satisfaction by physically possessing, mentally enjoying, or intellectually appreciating some object or objects other than ourselves. Thus, the commotion desires creates is a mental disturbance and the thicker the desire, the more powerful is the commotion. At the satisfaction of the desire, the commotion ends and the peace in the mind allows the joy of the soul, as it were, to be out undisturbed and unmolested. Okay, so I know his language is very, very high-fi. So basically all he's saying is that jitni jada strong desire hoti hai na, utna jada agitation hota hai. Ek koi to simple desire hoti hai ki bhai, ah, mujhe ye mil gaya to you will do thoda sa khatpat with it. इनने मिला तो भी ठीक है तो कोई एकदम स्ट्रॉन्ग डिजायर आ जाए तो देखो थॉट्स को क्या होता है फिर यू नो एंड देन वी हैव सीन दैट होल सीक्वेंस एंड इट्स अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग डिजायर दैट ओ आई कैन नॉट लिव विदाउट दिस एंड आर कुछ भी करके मुझे चाहिए बस ये देन क्या क्या करोगे देन इट कोई बीच में आएगा तुम्हारे डिजायर के तो एंगर आ जाएगा एंगर इज नथिंग बट द एनर्जी ऑफ द डिजायर इज 
push towards the person, you know, because he's not letting me have it, anything. So, and then with anger, what all the downfall happens, and then you'll be completely miserable. But suppose, jo tumko chitna agitation bada ho gaya, apka desire bhoat badi hai. Phir jab tumko milega na ho, to temporarily tum bhoat khush ho jau. But kyu khush ho jau? Because sara agitation down ho gaya. Clouds had gaya, like you were saying, and, and the sun is shining. <laughs> and you know, consciousness ka happiness is bubbling up. Or at least you're experiencing it. That's what is happening. I don't think I have ever felt this type of desire. I have to have it. I have to have it. It is. So that yes. means generally you are a happy person then. I don't know about that. But beginning I'm saying, may you have to. Beginning may you have to meena mil gayi uske baad. Hey, yeah. Ye baat ek dum ko lota hai. Lota hai. No need for desire. Okay, I have been mil gayi. But I'm just saying that if we think about that, yeah. do we really get into that? Strong desire where it makes you really oh, unhappy. Oh yes, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I People don't know do if you them. get well, it's so much worldly stuff, but sometimes it's a mental thing. Yeah, yeah, know, that's what he's be, talking about. You know, um, a, something that you wish it uh, to be for someone. You know, I want this person to behave this way. Yeah, or like I, I was want my entire family to love me. That's also a desire. Yeah. I and mean, if somebody is uh, it, so it doesn't have to be material things. Okay. No, also I think it depends on your stage of development. For example, if you see a child, you see a toy, then you want to buy it. Then you will go to the ground. You know, the parents are experiencing that. I want it, I want it, I want it. And see how miserable that kid is. And you get a toy, then you will be happy for how long? हमने क्या डू यू फील दैट और वन डिड आई फील लाइक दिस मीन दैट्स वेन इट मेक्स मोर effective lesson sorry i see yes. so i think that one since we know the sequence of anger yeah. so i think somebody who has a calmer personality has less desire that means that's true. the moment you if you are some people are in gussa nak pe chada rehta hai you know har ek do do minute mein cheek chila rehta hai angry but again i'm saying i don't know for what reason no no the what reason then that's you want to self analyze yeah. that anger yeah. means desire It's 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 like a two side of the same, same coin. We don't want to think that way. We always think somebody else is making us angry. Right. Yeah. But that's not true. Your own desire is making you angry. You know. Yeah. So so I think a, a person who has less desire will get less angry. Uska the sequence bata because there's one point that I. Right. The sequence is uh, um, so first is first is a wrong thought. That's how Krishna yes. Bhagwan says. A wrong thought becomes. like uh, constantly thinking about it then it yes. becomes a clinging desire i okay. want to have this okay then. after that it is anger yes then um, let me think of the action, word huh? krodat bhavati sambhohas sambho no krodat then you become delusion Delu- anger okay. causes delusion because why delusion causes loss of memory That's the secret. It's very scientific. No, but how? I mean, those. Okay, I'll tell you how. When you get angry, your wisdom gets clouded. What is yes. anger? Yes. What do you do in anger? Think about it. You lash out at people. उसको गालियाँ दोगे तुम उसको कुछ frustration में तुम बोलोगे क्यों? तुम्हारी बुद्धि का थोड़ा सा ढक गया है, right? Moh को वही बोलते हैं. Moh means delusion. Yeah. Loss of memory is when you don't know. उस आदमी ने तुम्हारे लिए सौ काम अच्छे किए होंगे तुम सब भूल गए बोलते हैं कि एंगर में तुम अपने माता पिता अपने गुरु का भी अपमान करोगे भूल जाओगे कि क्या क्या दिया उनको तुम्हें एंगर सो लॉस ऑफ मेमोरी एंड देन लॉस ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन विवेक बुद्धि खत्म हो जाएगी प्रणशति मीन यू विल गो फॉर डाउन That's the sequence. That's a very scientific sequence. Where's the fear come along? Fear is just a side effect of. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's the same thing as anger and fear are connected because you feel anger when somebody comes on the way of your desire. It's yes. It's not in yeah? that sequence. I don't think fear. It's not, but it's a, it's a high banana. There is a. No, I'll tell you what is fear. Fear is. 
a de- a fear is my desire won't get fulfilled that's mm-hmm. one fear and the other fear is if it gets fulfilled i will lose it right i mean to, to me that was the part the fear is that part but not the f- before getting the thing that you talk about fear oh we that, fear with that that's another kind of fear uh, that's what i didn't understand that's what okay, i was trying to get okay fear is like you. i want this but shayad mujhe nahi milega wo nahi hai par agar agar kho jayega ya mere se i mean i'll, I'll lose it that's if i yeah. have it that i can see as a fear but i couldn't see uh okay then why do you feel fear ki mujhe nahi milega abhi duniya mein jab log hai na news phailate hain are aisa aisa hone wala hai ye hoga you know kal pani khatam ho jayega okay okay <laughs> india mein so, fear, fear ho gaya ki nahi aa aa won't get it how will i take shower how will i drink water you know okay. fear okay. you know fear can have different different things so. okay yeah. and then the, the another one is greed वो भी भाई बहन है इसका डिजायर का ही भाई बहन है ग्रीड इज आफ्टर मुझे मिल गया अब मुझे और चाहिए जेलसी इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ इट मुझे नहीं मिला किसी और को मिला बट उसका रूट कॉज इज डिजायर विच वी डोंट नो इट वी डोंट थिंक अबाउट इट बट इफ कृष्ण भगवान इज सेंग दर यू आर द्रद्धा सो इफ यू आर नॉट ग्रीडी इफ यू आर नॉट जेलस इफ यू डोंट गेट एंग्री be sure that you have less desires that means you know but any of these things happening your desires are too much is expectation somewhere in there? expectation is desire what is desire. it it's the same thing uh, i want i expect my children to behave this way that's okay. also desire no okay i hadn't put it that See? Talk about it that way. so it's not telling you that you know to accept everything and just you know no no that's not what it's telling you you do your best effort to change it whatever is in your power because that's what's a parent we have a role <coughs> as a sibling or as whoever you know a boss your people may not listen to you but you keep trying keep trying in the end if they absolutely don't listen you have to accept it do your what is that called bharat always said do your best and leave the rest swami ji says that that's what it is so expectations beyond a certain point is a 100% desire only the rishi cried that the self is the reserve repository of all sorrows since pure awareness or the reality is itself bliss absolute the mental thought disturbances like thick monsoon clouds veil the beam of joy the attempt of an individual is procuring the keeping sensuous object in an unconscious act of the individual to bring about the necessary condition in the mind so that joyous soul may peep out shedding its infinite joy very long sentence <laughs> you have to read it many times okay you finished and i will tell the, the meaning huh? um the rishi declares that all joys come from the self and the sensuous joys are all flickering of the self seen through the intervals of peace in the mind's natural state of thought chaos both the sentences are very long mm-hmm. okay so what is saying repository of all joy is pure awareness means koi bolega anand aa kahan se raha hai uska source kya hai happiness to sabhi feel karte hai ki you know kabhi na kabhi to humne happiness feel kiya hai ki nahi where is the source so he's telling you acha go back to satchit anand if the vedanta is declaring satchit anand sat which is conscious and blissful and when they talk about anand they're talking about like super anand jahan se anand phoot raha hai <laughs> wo hai consciousness so he's saying that the mental thought disturbance like a thick monsoon cloud like what meena ji was saying veil the beam of joy anand hum sab ke andar hai sab ke andar hi hai magar wo hamare thought disturbance se cover ho gaya hai agitation jaise ki koi pani hai ha huh? so mind is like वाटर सपोज अनालॉजी और अगर पानी एकदम स्टिल हो और सूरज चमक रहा होगा तो उसका रिफ्लेक्शन कैसा होगा एकदम अच्छा होगा 
लेकिन अगर पानी में हवा चल रही है और वेव्स आ रही हैं पानी में तो वो ब्रोकन ब्रोकन होएगा और पानी के ऊपर काई जम जाए तो रिफ्लेक्शन आएगा ही नहीं सो so, एक तो होता है कि थॉट डिस्टर्बेंस से वो जॉय ब्रेकअप हो जाता है सारा और फिर वो रॉन्ग आइडियाज एंड ऑल दैट से वो कवर अप हो जाता है विजडम यू नो और और दैट वट यू कॉल रिफ्लेक्शन ही नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है दैट्स वन एनालॉजी एंड दी अदर एनालॉजी इज दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द बॉटम ऑफ अ लेक द वाटर हैज टू बी क्लीन एंड स्टिल दैट्स इवन बेटर एनालॉजी एक्चुअली सो दैट इज अवर सब स्ट्रैटम सो ही सींग दैट अनकॉन्शियसली वी डू दिस दैट वी वी थिंक दैट कहाँ पर लिखा है अनकॉन्शियसली का लिखा या प्रोक्रोरिंग एंड कीपिंग सेंशियस ऑब्जेक्ट इन एन अनकॉन्शियस एक्ट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल to bring about necessary conditions. So हम लोग को मालूम नहीं है कि ऐसा होता है लेकिन जब हम लोग को वो डिज़ायर बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होती है बहुत एजिटेशन हो रहा है बहुत एजिटेशन हो रहा है फिर मिल गई वो चीज़ अनकॉन्शियसली हमने अपना एजिटेशन को डाउन कर दिया अच्छा ऐसा सोचो कि आप आप लोगों को अगर हम लोग वेकेशन वगैरह के लिए जाते हैं कौन सी जगह चुनते हैं हम आपके हस्बैंड स्पेयर में अच्छा वो कितना खुश हो ना वहां जाके क्यों <laughs> क्योंकि उनकी इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग डिजायर थी आपकी डिजायर स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं थी तो आपको कुछ फर्क ही नहीं पड़ा बिकॉज यू आर नॉट एजिटेटेड अबाउट इट ही मस्ट बी थिंकिंग ऑफ माई कब देखू कब देखू दिख गया तो हाँ बहुत अच्छा है एंड इवन वेन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इट टू योर चिल्ड्रन डिजायर इज फुलफिली बट सम पीपल माइंड लाइक टू गो वेकेशन जस्ट गो सिट एंड वॉच अन सेट गो टू द बीच यू नो ये अमेरिकन लोग को सबसे ज्यादा अच्छा लगता है कि कोई फाइव स्टार होटल में जाके पूल पे बैठ जाए हम लोग को तो क्या बेवकूफ लोग आए लोग पूल पे बैठने के लिए क्या जरूरत है यहाँ आने के लिए बट दे आर दैट्स वॉट देर डिजायर इज बाबा सो सो दे आर फीलिंग वेरी हैप्पी यू नो दे आर बर्निंग देयर स्किन एंड दे आर इन सेवेंथ हेवन बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट देयर स्ट्रॉन्ग डिजायर वॉज यू नो Sometimes uh, to feel happy, you don't need objects. Also, you know, you go and sit somewhere because the, you don't think about anything else. That's why you're not thinking about it. That that they are proving it that way. मेरा five star hotel ना अंदर है। तो जब तक मैं वहाँ जाके चुप हो गया, बैठ गया तो बस कहीं भी बैठ। That is a multi-star, both fifteen-star hotel. Your own hotel, right? Your own hotel. With this idea in mind, if we reread the Declaration of Upanishad, it cannot be very difficult for us to understand how an individual, or realizing his self, comes to experience all the joys of ever living creature all at once. Because remember, in this verse, he said the last part. What did he say? He said, "He who knows it is existing in the cave of his heart." Okay. In the transcendental akasha, that's the same thing as cave of heart and transcendent. They're different expression. Hmm. Okay, realizes all his desires. जितनी भी खुशी तुमको कोई भी burning दे वो सब तुमको साथ में मिल जाएगी. Because तुम source of happiness को touch कर रहे हो. You know that's why. So I think this is a very big revelation for for. But isn't it? He's saying, I mean, true. He saying comes to experience all the joys of every living creature. Why he say? You tell me. Why he said that? Because if you realize this oneness, yes, and that's why you can see that. Yes, of absolutely. Of all the living creatures, not otherwise. Yeah. So if you think that all oh, the Bhagwan is only in me and and you know not in you, the people will be like, some people always have that question. You mean to say he who a terrorist may be Bhagwan? Right. Or you're saying, "Well, ha hai," and it's the same. same. It's not different. Yeah. Then it's how you can experience. But he just desires are so big. His yes. and, uh, all confusion, <laughs> all the wisdom is gone. I mean, you know, at a at an intellectual level, I understand that. But to accept mm-hmm. that concept is a whole new. Um, to me, I mean, for me, it's a little harder. I to think, yeah. उसमें भी भगवान है और वो भी सुधर सकता है 
Or it's the same. It's not different. It's not different. It's the same consciousness. It just, you know, he's, he's done so many so. bad karmas and all. And obviously, so, so no, in the Vyavadic sense, yes, all that needs to be. But the hatred comes in people. So the hatred also continues this constant uh, fights hmm. for generations and... Haan, that yeah. is true too. Yeah. 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 But if that you let true. go, huh. or uh, like, what they think is go, it's hard for us to understand that, but saints will say it. Ki jo baat hai na, ladai se nahi ho sakti, wo prem se ho sakti hai. Because hum log karenge nahi waisa, because hum log... Ladai se. Because hum log ko ladai karna acha lagda hai, magar... Magar... Tit for tat. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I remember going to this one place and they told us this beautiful story. So they said that Guru Nanak Dev Ji came to us. He was doing a money loan. So Bharat took me over there. It's in Himachal. And there is also a Guru Dwara and a temple. The temple is Prachin. The Guru Dwara is made in the temple because he came 500 years ago. The temple is even old. So he's saying when, when the, uh, you know, these people came, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and I think he gave his first sermon there, a very spiritual place. So they said ki, um, they wanted to make their own, you know, something. And ye jo pandit the na, they didn't want him to do this. Because ye kon aagya ji? Isko bhagao yaan se. So wo kuch divar banate the aur ye dhe dete the divar. Pandra din tak baisi chalta raha. But Guru Nanak Dev Ji did not get angry. And then after the 15th day, he invited him to eat, have langar at a place. So come eat. So today, ये पानी पानी हो गया पहले ना जब इनको बुलाया खाना वाना खाओ. So then he say, आप हो कौन? And you know how do you have so much patience and everything? So he saying, तुम अपना काम करते जाओ हम अपना काम करते जाते. You know, but he won his heart. You know, like and कोई और होता तो लड़ाई हो जाती था. You know, in other but this is a very good story that I heard. True story actually happened. So that's why they have both. Anyway, any comment, last comment, question about everybody got the picture about happiness in the Vedanta, where it's coming from. Very, very good class. Yeah. Yeah. Very good class. I truly enjoy these classes. Mm. <laughs> that was the whole idea. Okay, let's close it then. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhattani Parshantu Mahakashti Pukapapave Hari Om Shri Kriti Om Namah Okay, great. Thank you for all of you coming. Thank you.